Elf Academy friends, it's Miss Lauren. I'm back again. And before we get started on our letter of the week, we're gonna do a quick review. It's important to remember that you always wanna review the letters that we've been working on. We don't just wanna work on them for a week and then stop and say, oh, I know that. It's important when you're learning to go back and practice and practice and practice. So let's go ahead and practice the letters we've learned so far. I'm going to say the letter, we're going to make the sound and do the motion at the same time. Are you ready? Here we go. A, A, B, B, C, K, D, D, E, E, F, F, G, G, and our new letter is, ready, drum roll, H. The letter of the week is H, and when we make the letter H, we make this sound. <sighs> and do you want to know how you can tell if you're making the right sound? Take your hand like this. Put it in front of your mouth. Don't put it on your mouth. Put it a little bit in front of your mouth. And when you say the <sighs> sound, you feel your breath on your hand. And it's hot, just like the letter H. So go ahead and try. We're going to say this. This is our motion as we make the H sound. Ready? <sighs> Very good. Now it's our favorite time of the day. It's Alpha Surprise time! Go ahead and get your Alpha Surprise jar of Play-Doh out and have the best time exploring your mini objects. Okay, let's take a look at what's inside our Alpha Surprise. We said our letter makes the sound. Can you hear that? What letter are we talking about today? H, right, very good. There's our H. Trace the H with your finger and then set it aside. Okay, let's see what else we have in our jar. Oh, another H. It's our lowercase H. Our uppercase H has all straight lines. Our lowercase h has one straight line and one curved line, but we're going to talk more about how we make our h's tomorrow. Right now, we're just learning about the sound and some things that start with h. Okay, here's some clues. Here's an animal, and you find it at the farm. It makes the sound nay. Anybody know? You can ride it. That's right, it's a horse. This is a pretty brown horse. Put the horse right there. Let's see what else we have. This is something that flies in the sky. It's not an airplane. It has a propeller on the top. It's a helicopter. Where's your helicopter? Okay, let's see what else. This is a big, huge animal. And we're going to learn more about this animal tomorrow. But something to know about them is that they're very big. They walk on land and we can find them in water. Do you know what it is? What's this called? It's a hippo. A hippopotamus. That's a big word. Hippopotamus. There you go. Okay, two more. Ooh, this is something that's delicious to eat. It has buns and sometimes cheese and pickles and mustard and lettuce. Really, you can make anything you want, but it's meat and bread to make a hamburger. Look at that cute little hamburger. Take a bite. Ooh, that's great. 
Okay, last one. The last object is something that you use to fix things. You can use it to um, put nails into walls or wood. It helps you to pound, basically. You're using this motion and it puts some pressure on whatever you are using. What's that called? Do you know what kind of tool this is? You use it like this. What is it? That's all right, it's a hammer. So now we have all five of our objects. Let's talk about our syllables and the sounds we hear in them. So we have hamburger. Let's clap. Hamburger. Hamburger has three syllables. We'll just leave it right in the middle. What about horse? Horse. Horse has one syllable. Okay, what about hammer? Hammer has two syllables. So we're gonna put it right here. We have one, two, and three. Okay, now we have two bigger words. Let's check these words out. Helicopter, helicopter. We're gonna say four. So we have one, two, three, and four. What about this? Now you can say hippo, and that would put it right here, but the full name for a hippo is hippopotamus. Let's clap it out. Hippopotamus, hippopotamus. Five, that's a lot of syllables. That's a big word. Can you say that word? Let me hear you. Great job. So repeat after me, we have horse. Let me hear you. Horse, good. Hammer, let's hear it. Great. Hamburger, helicopter, and hippopotamus. What great words. This might be one of my favorite letters we've done so far. I love all these objects. You should be so proud of yourself for how hard you've worked today. We're so excited to say our favorite goodbye poem. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. In an hour, sunflower. Maybe two, kangaroo. Got to go, buffalo. Better swish, jellyfish. Chop, chop, lollipop. Gotta run, skeleton. Bye, bye, butterfly. Better shake, rattlesnake. Give a hug, ladybug. Take care, polar bear. Our, Our time, time together now ends. Goodbye, good friends.